In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pinch pot, just a really basic one. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to add stuff to create a creature. So what I'm going to do is just start with this block of clay, just kind of a medium amount. And depending on the size of your pinch pot, you can grab more or less, depending on what you're needing to do. The first thing we're going to do is turn this into a ball of clay. So please make sure you don't have any jewelry on, and if you have any long fingernails, you might want to file those down because it's very hard to make a pinch pot if you have long fingernails. It'll just gouge all over into your clay. Now we're going to make this into a ball by hitting it with the palm of our hand, kind of in a cup shape. So cupping our palm and hitting the clay. Try not to fold the clay over on itself, because if you do that, you're going to create air bubbles. And we all know what happens when there's air bubbles in clay. Kaboom! So I'm just kind of going from every angle, not just staying on one side. I'm letting the ball kind of go around in my hands as I'm hitting it. Um, you can roll it in your hands, but that's not always the most effective. Sometimes you need a little more force. Once you have a ball of clay, then you're going to hold it in the palm of your non-dominant hand. So I'm left-handed, so I'm going to hold it in my right hand. If you're right-handed, you'll probably want to hold it in your left hand. And then you're going to take your thumb of your dominant hand, so in my case, my left hand, going to take it, and in the middle, or the center of the ball of clay, I'm going to just push down. You don't want to push all the way through the clay, you'll be able to feel your thumb kind of going through the clay in the palm of your hand. So you can tell when you've gone too far. Once I've made the hole with my clay, I'm going to start pinching with my fingers. Now, this process needs to go quickly. If you don't go quickly enough, your clay is going to start to crack. The second you see a crack in your clay, you have to smooth it over. If you leave it unattended, the cracks will only get worse and then eventually you won't be able to do anything about it other than start over. So I'm going to start pinching with my thumb and fingers and the key thing with this is that I want to have even pressure all the way around. So I notice there's a crack, I'm going to smooth it over with my thumb right away and so I'm moving above and then back down. So we want to be able to have an even pinch pot. So the bottom is the same thickness as the top. If it's not even, then it's more likely to break or to crack and it's also going to be heavy. So if we look here at the top, these edges are starting to get kind of cracked. So before they get too bad, I'm going to smooth them over with my finger. Anytime you start to see or cracks or anything like that, you want to smooth it right away so that they don't become a bigger problem. So I'm going to go back towards the bottom and start pinching. I'm kind of smoothing it with my hands, so we can see it from this angle. Kind of moving around in a circle with the same amount of pressure as I move. And I'm slowly moving upwards towards the edge of the pinch pot. 
And you want to be really careful that we aren't pinching too much at the top because if this top ridge gets too thin it's going to crack and then it's going to dry out really quickly and these pieces are just going to break off. So you want to leave some thickness up at the top. And at this point um, is where you can start shaping your pinch pot. So if you need it wider you're going to want to kind of pull outwards with your fingers, so kind of pulling out. If you want it longer and taller, you want to kind of be pushing in with your thumb. So I'm kind of pushing in with my thumb, not pushing out with my fingers. That's going to make it kind of longer instead of wider. Now I see some cracks again. So I'm going to smooth those over. So always be on the lookout. And if your clay is new, if it's good and plastic, then you shouldn't have to worry too much about cracking. However, some people, for some reason, their hands just tend to suck moisture out of clay. And I've never quite figured it out. It seems like just some people's hands are drier than others. So they take the moisture of the clay much faster than other people. And I'm just going to speed up this part until I've gotten my pinch pot in the shape and thickness that I want it. Alright, so we have a basic pinch pot. It's pretty smooth on the inside, mostly smooth on the outside. There's just a couple little chunks here, but it's actually sometimes easier to smooth things once it's stiffened up a little bit so that we don't accidentally turn the shape of this into something we don't want. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to wrap these up safely so that your clay does not dry out while you wait. When we need to wrap up our clay, take a piece of heavier plastic, so a nice thick garbage bag works well, or the bags that the clay come in if you have extras. And what we're going to do to wrap up the pinch pot, I'll hold it in my hand here. I'll take some crumpled up end of the plastic here and stick it in the inside of the pinch pot for some support, like this. Then I will wrap the plastic around the pinch pot. Now I have these two pieces sticking out here. What I'm going to do is wrap them around the pinch pot like this. And then I'm going to take the extra plastic and wrap it over the top to hold that in place. I'll take these extra flaps here, stick them underneath the pinch pot, and then take the last of the plastic and stick it underneath. So when I set this down, the weight of the pinch pot holds the plastic in place. So I know without a doubt that the entire pinch pot is completely covered with plastic. There aren't any holes for air to get in, and it's going to keep the clay nice and moist. If there are any holes in the plastic and air can get in, 
your clay is going to dry out very quickly. Now if you're in a space where there are a lot of people using clay, what you're going to need to do is label this, because if everybody's making a pinch pot, they will all look the same, so it's going to be very hard to tell whose is whose. So take a piece of tape and a sharpie and write your name on the piece of tape and stick it somewhere where it's going to be easy, easy to see. Now, um, you don't need to use the tape to close up the bag. In fact, that's actually a bad idea because the tape, if you try and take it off, might rip the bag and then you'll have to throw out the bag. So I like to just put the tape somewhere that is easy to see and then use my clay to hold the plastic shut. Once you've done this, then you're ready to put this away and clean up all of your stuff. Stay tuned for the next video on how to attach pieces of clay to create a sculpture.